Sabaj Sweet Center Pure Vegetarian Food. Sweets, savories, curries and snacks. Open seven days a week. Sabaj Sweet Center. We cater for all your special occasions. Weddings, parties, in fact anything. It's Sabaj Sweet Center. 69 Narborough Road, Leicester. Call Leicester 233-3350 or 255-6807. Sartaj. Good evening, friends. Namaste. Assalamu alaikum. We are very happy. Sassri Akal. Hamesha di Tanaj Jigdeep. Aapne sitare program lakhe thodi se avich hazir hai. Har ik kalakar एक फनकार साडे प्रोग्राम च आंदे ने अपनी जिंदगी दी कहानी सुनांदे ने और इस प्रोग्राम विच थोडा निगा जा स्वागत करदे हां जी आया नो जी सजके जी वारी जिथे भी तुसी प्रोग्राम देख रहे हो अपने घरां च देख रहे हो ड्राइंग रूम च देख रहे हो किते रेस्टोरेंट च देख रहे हो खा पी रहे हो हमेशा मैं थानू पता है मैंने पता तुसी किसे रेस्टोरेंट च जरूर देख रहे हो कोई प्रोडक्ट नोट खा रहे हो बे घर बैठ के देख रहे हो तुसी ड्राइंग रूम च देख रहे हो सोफे ते अपना पैर पूरा रख के आराम नाल बैठ जाओ क्योंकि जो आज कलाकार मेरे को लाया ही इज रियली फैंटास्टिक कलाकार ही इज अ सिंगर ही इज अ राइटर and he's a dancer and he's a rapper my god he's all in one i would say so me swagat karangi welcome karangi one and only mumsy hi mumsy hey dean you right uh, yes fine thanks how are you i'm fine thanks i was just listening to your introduction so was uh, it okay it was amazing i didn't understand a single thing but <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> it was good. Whatever it was. I tried to understand. I was just like, okay, yeah. Yeah, she's coming to me. I heard singer, dance, and these things. I knew you were talking about me. So about you. Thank God for that. I got, I got excited. I was like, so, uh, what other languages you know instead of just English? Um, I know a little bit of um, Bengali. Bengali. I'm not that good, but mm -hmm. I know enough. Like I can talk. Okay. And understand it. Um, what else? That's it. Yabi. A, a, a little bit here and there. <laughs> Yeah, but I try to really. Hindi? <laughs> Hindi Hindi more than Punjabi. Hindi more than Punjabi? Yeah, more Okay, so. that because will do. Film, because of the films. Um, all right. And you then, watch Hindi films? Um, here and there, when the family watch it, I join in. Uh-huh. And when it gets all emotional, I leave. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> so can't take you don't that. want to cry? No, nah, I can't take all that. Uh, no. I, even yeah. I can't take serious bits. It's too much, man. I like all the jokes and the uh, yeah, mad it. dancing. And that's that. what the life is about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. So the life should be happy. Yes. And beautiful. All the time. All the time. Sure. We shouldn't be serious. No, you, you should only be serious when you need to be serious. Otherwise, That's right. try your best to be happy, right? Yeah. Otherwise, if you're serious all the time... You're going to be moody. Yeah, it means you're a miserable person. Nobody will talk to you. Nah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not with you, just anybody. You'd be a stranger. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, this, uh, this is the show, Apne Sitare means our stars. Okay. You are one of the stars. Thank and uh, I know you got beautiful voice. Thank you. And you got beautiful face. That's and I like your hairstyle. Yeah, I got some sort of. <laughs> my dad don't. Oh, your dad did this. My dad goes to me one day that you've come home. He missed your hair. <laughs> he goes, you didn't finish it off. I'm like, dad, this is the style. It's the style. This is my style. Yeah. This oh. Is my vibes. I see. So you did it yourself. No, I, I went to a barber. Actually, I tried to do it myself once, and I messed up and end up. And the up to the barbers. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so you like like this, so it doesn't take long to get ready. You know what? Believe it or not, it actually does take long. It takes. With this hair. My hairstyle uh -huh. takes an hour. To do what? And 25 minutes. No, what what you do with your hairs? Well, basically, as gel? you can see. You can't put gel on. No, no, no. It's the blend. People that. All right. People understand that you have to. Blend the ha hairstyle, even though it's short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's you have to blend. Yes, yeah, no, I, I understand. But you don't blend every day. No, exactly. But if you blend it once, then uh -huh. it lasts. How long? How many days? Three days. Three days. Yeah, I have about. I have about three haircuts in two weeks. All right. Yes. So then it shouldn't take that long every day. No, nah, not to do, obviously, but yeah, yeah. in terms of the haircut, it does. So yeah. that's why you have made this hairstyle? Yeah, that it's you my style. take long. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, you're a smart, fit-looking person. Uh, I can imagine you can dance as well. But today I won't ask you to dance. Yeah, I think that I might break the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Where uh, did you born? You know, tell the, our audience, you know, um, they would like to hear your story, everything from your... Okay, um, I was born in East London, mm -hmm. um, in uh, Whitechapel. That's mm -hmm. it, that's where my parents 
you know, come from Allgate. This is where they were kind of when I was a baby, when I was born. Mm -hmm. And then um, as soon as I was born, they moved to um, a place called Plasto. Okay. Town, which is um, in East London. Again, mm -hmm. a little bit away from the city. Mm. And um, uh, that's where I've been brought up, you know. All right. Actually, uh, otherwise, originally they are from Bengal. Yeah, they're from Bangladesh, my parents. Bangladesh. Yeah, so. Okay, have you ever been to Bangladesh? Um, yeah, a uh, long time ago now. I went about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. but I think I need to go. You need to see go. See my family and, and stuff, Of yeah. course, yeah. It's important. Uh, have you been to India? I've been to India, yeah. Which part did you go? I've been to uh, New Delhi. Mm -hmm. I've been to Bombay. Mm -hmm. And I've been to Goa. All right. You haven't been to my town. Where's your town? I told you. Oh, you did, yeah, you did. Chandigarh. Oh, well, I need to go then, isn't it? Yeah, to you have to, out. because it's a beautiful place. Yeah, I heard that. People have told me about it. Well, people have told yeah, me. So I sense. don't have to tell you. You, you can tell me if you want. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, no, so you went to Bombay and Delhi and Goa. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What did you do on, in Bombay? Um, in you went uh, for recording? Uh, yeah, in Bombay I went to um, basically do a video there mm -hmm. i've done some stuff there like just promo stuff mm -hmm. and i went like on holiday there as well mm -hmm. um in uh in when i went to new delhi mm -hmm. i did a video with malkeet singh all right so you went to do with malkeet singh that's yeah, yeah it's crazy i went for one day can you believe it all right to do that that video basically yeah i flew out uh. um i was at home on a, i think it was on a friday evening mm -hmm. and i was told that you know um you need to get on a flight at six in the morning for the video i'm like what all Crazy. right, so you did it Went in for one New day, Delhi. done the video, came back. So did you understand what Malkeet was on about? <laughs> I still haven't, haven't got a clue, no. He's a funny guy, though, I've got to say. He's, 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 a he's guy. fantastic. Yeah. He's a wonderful guy. Do you know what? I was in this video shoot and everything was just crazy like first was time I, yeah first time i went to like a set in india obviously for a mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. and malki was just proper he's cool he's like, cool yeah he's not a serious guy at all no 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 he no. knows how to chill mm -hmm. out and you know come down to so my only you life. knew about your bit what you have to say that's it yeah i was there and then um, basically when it come to my parts i did my thing everyone was doing their thing i didn't have a clue mm -hmm. what they were doing but it all seemed colorful and fun to me so i was just there yeah. All right. Had a good time. And um, I went to India for Sophie Chowdhury's video as well. Okay. And Manjave, which was, uh, this, that one was in, um, I think, was it in, I think that one was in Bombay. So you did with Sophie Chowdhury, uh, yeah. was it uh, Together song? Or yeah. Which, okay. like which song was that? I, um, Manjave. Manjave. Yeah. Okay. So I Is that Hindi her. song? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, it's from her album, so it's, it's right. a really cool track. You didn't uh, sing Hindi song? Um, nah. <laughs> I would never, I would never clue. I would know where to start. So you never ever uh, sang any Hindi song? Um, no. It's Have you ever tried? Um, messing around here and there. Which one? Um, Which song did you mess around? <laughs> God, you know, not like messing around. Like you know, when you just try to say. Yeah, things, try. Like, Which song did wrong. you try? The Bollywood films. Which like, one? Yeah. Which song? Um, what do I remember? What, what, do, what do I remember? Um, let's have, let's have a listen. I can't remember. Anyway, whenever. Sergeant, Sergeant. 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 Yeah. From Sergeant Films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which song was that? I can't remember what it's called. But okay, so you watched that film. Yeah, a long time ago though. Okay, so you knew one song. Yeah, one song I knew. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And do you know any Punjabi song? Um, yeah. Well, I listened to so, you know H. Dami. Mm -hmm. Is a you know. They are from your unit. Yeah, I love I love Imran Khan stuff. Mm -hmm. I think he's amazing. So. He is. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. He resembled with you actually, Mark Imran See? Khan. You reckon? Don't you think so? How? Well, from, with your hairstyle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he copied me. No. He copied you. Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. He's a good friend of mine. He's, he's got a mine. beautiful voice. And a different style. Yeah, you know, he's, he was he's bringing doing. something different to the table. So I think everyone's got mm. their own little style. Okay, yeah. so then how did you start in music industry? Um, to be honest, it's, it was, you know, with music, it's a gift. You know, I don't think, like, you can wake up one day and say, I want to be a singer mm -hmm. or I want to be this... You know, when I was young, I was heavily influenced by music. You know, in my house, everybody listens to music. My brothers, my sister, they used to listen. My sister was into Bollywood music. Mm -hmm. My brothers were into English mm -hmm. music, like reggae, soul, Motown. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to just be kind of 
around them, you know, just picking up on what they're listening to. So they were older than you? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I've got a younger brother, and mm-hmm. I've got three older brothers, mm-hmm. so five brothers. Okay. And I've got one sister who's older than all of us. So um, they all are in music? Um, yeah, fairly, yeah. They all listen to music. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't sing? Nah, not at all. No, like, this I'm, is you. I'm the alien in the family. <laughs> yeah, alien in the I'm the alien in the family. What about your parents? Do they have um, a, well, yeah, an well, interest in the singing side? Well, when we were young, when I was younger, my parents mm-hmm. were into it. Obviously, slowly, you know, like, my, you know, I'm, uh, my dad's, you know, quite Islamic. He's, he's into his religion and stuff, which is cool. Mm-hmm. My mum is, you know, she was the same and that. But, you know, when they were young, they were into it. Into it. And then slowly, like, we kind of took took that responsibility. We got into the music. So, yeah. <laughs> Only that responsibility you took. Yeah, so music that's, side. How, that's how I kind of got into music. And then mm-hmm. slowly, but short, shortly, I just started kind of imitating songs you know just okay. you know doing other people's raps doing other people's um songs and and then you know my mum turned around and said you know what you've got something going on here and oh I'm like, she I'm like, like your voice yeah she goes you can do it you know uh-huh. like, you've got something going on and i'm like so which one the f- first song you ever liked it and you said th- you thought you could sing that my first song mm. um, it was um a track by soul to soul Mm-hmm. Back to life. Come on, give us that song oh, before God. we show to people uh, with the song now. You know what? Um, Abbas Khan. I'll sing your line. It goes, Back to life, back to reality. That's, that's a little vibe for you. So, okay, yeah. so that was the first song. Brilliant song. Ever yeah. sung. Yeah, mm. brilliant song, yeah. That's good. So, uh, this song with Abbas Khan you did yeah. uh, together. Uh, and how was that? Come on, um, give us yeah, that line it's well, before we show to people. Well, Rishi, obviously, Rishi Rich, you know, legend in the house, you know, mm-hmm. brother to me, producer. Mm-hmm. Rishi, obviously... Um, how did you meet Rishi? I met him in 2005. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my demos got sent through to um, BBC, mm-hmm. and um, I was a runner-up for a competition, which I entered, and Rishi Rich was one of which the judges. Which competition was that? BBC Unsung, okay. Asian Network. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I was a runner-up, and... At the end of the party, Rishi come up to me and he said to me, you know, I'm really liking your vibe and there's mm-hmm. something going on. I'm like, you know, at the time he had the whole uh, Rishi Rich project going on, him, Jay, Juggy and Veronica, and I was, I was quite chuffed. Okay. And um, he gave me his number and um, mm-hmm. I kept a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of my part, uh, you know, my ticket into the, to the industry because I was oblivious to the whole Asian industry. I didn't have a clue. Oh. about it so because i come from the urban industry i don't really That's come right. from the mm. and then when i met rishi you know he really opened the door to a different path fantastic yeah, and i met a lot of people through him so did you like this song the one you did with abbas yeah abbas hassan again you know uh, rishi rich and science he's rishi. wonderful he did yeah. come recently signed abbas he's a really cool guy you he know, is he's cool guy he's got a different vibe going rishi called me up one day mm. he goes mumsy i got um I got a new guy on signed to the label. Mm-hmm. Name's Abbas Hassan. He emailed me the track, and he goes, "What do you think?" And I said, "Yeah, man, I'm feeling the vibe." Mm. He goes, "Um, you know, I want you to, you know, do something on the track. Just give it, give it a bit of your touch." I'm like, "Why not?" You know, "Why not?" Write my bits, put it together. He's he's got a different vibe, you know, the whole French, the whole kind of um, Punjabi with the English. You know, he's got his thing going on. Yeah, he's I'm, got. I'm to totally for that. So mm. good luck to him. So give us a few lines before we show the clips. Um, I'll just sing this. Uh, yeah, sure. Sona, Sona, my heart is calling for you. Check it out, yeah, Sona. Uh, uh, no, those those Sona Nyaasi. Tham dikhaniya thodi je clips jeda ke ina ne vas khan nal banaya hai geet. So dekho. दोस्तों किदा लग गया थानो हे गीत वी वर शोइंग देम द सोना गीत यू डिड विद द अबास खान एंड डिड यू एंजॉय द शूटिंग बिट एंड एवरीथिंग द सॉन्ग हु हु रोट दिस सॉन्ग um the song was written i think by a boss and rishi and the guys all right uh, i thought you uh, i wrote my bits all right my, the, obviously my, bit, my english and the rap and stuff yeah so how become you start writing the songs uh, when did i start writing mm. the songs started i started when i was young like mm-hmm. proper like 
you know, obviously when you first write songs, they're mm. stupid, isn't it? When you first write, <laughs> it doesn't make no sense at all. Okay. Just write. You tried. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. But then slowly, um, obviously. You must have written about love or this and that. Yeah, you know, love like, stuff. For example. Yeah. <laughs> it all depends, isn't it? Like if you have a, if you have, a, it depends how you, how your day goes. For example, okay. if I've had a stressful day, then I'm going to take it out on a song. On the song. And maybe write something that will make me feel better. Okay. So it all depends, really. Just, but um. Or you just, you just kind of did, vibe off someone. Did you show to your mum or dad when you were young? You oh, some no. songs. When I was young, I had to hide my music, man. <laughs> Why? Sure because it's... Oh, it, they it, will tell you off. They, yeah, they wouldn't understand, obviously, when I was young. like. Why not? My mum was okay, mm -hmm. but dad was militant, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he wasn't Did like, he ever hit you? <laughs> no, no, no. He, he, my dad, they're not, like, they're, they, only, they only ever hit, like, kind of had a go at me if I did something bad. Something, something. bad. Yeah, so, so writing songs weren't the bad idea? Um, at first, it was not like it was bad. It's mm -hmm. like they didn't understand it. You know, what you were on about. Yeah, because, mm. you know, and because they didn't understand it, they felt that it would get in the way of my studies. Oh, they wanted you to study. Yeah, of course. I did study. So oh, What did you do? I went to uni. I, went, um, I did business information technology. Fantastic. I got my degree. At least you have done for your parents this bit. Definitely, exactly. Yeah. That's I've, you you did in, uh, in London? Yeah, Wh Westminster. Which university? Westminster. Yeah, Westminster. That's fantastic. You know, some singers, um, they would like to sing. When their parents say something, they don't want to listen to that. Yeah. Uh, and they don't want to study. So sometimes they are not here or there. No, exactly. You know, and I think that's really good. I uh, think studying. Is good. I was thinking you were just like, you know, <laughs> into the music. That's it. <laughs> that's right. Nah, you munda know. kunda. <laughs> nah, I know what. You, you know what munda kunda means. You gotta tell me. I'm just going. It's a with. young, a young, very young boy when they're naughty, this oh, and okay. that. You know what? Not to do much. No, nah, you know, I think there's a lot of guys out there that like, but it, it all depends. Like, yeah. I think education is stimulating for the mind. So that's right. It's and which get. first song did you write properly, and it came on? Ah, uh, um, the first track me uh, we done was me and Rishi was Let's Party, mm -hmm. and that got promoted everywhere. You know, that's everyone fantastic. played it, supported mm -hmm. it. It was like the introduction from me and Rishi. So you did together? Yeah, yeah. We the were. writing bit. Um, well, I wrote the he song. He doesn't sing, Rishi, does he sing? No, Rishi, he, he can sing. But he, he can? Yeah. Uh, not not like people. <laughs> not like, um, he's not like a, you know, massive vocalist, but uh -huh. he can he can do harmonies and stuff. He like can that. mind. Yeah, little things here and there. Oh, good. So what song was that? Come on, give us a few lines. Well, on, that, on my song? Uh, yeah. The we one done Let's Party. Oh, the, all right, the yeah. one you have done. Yeah, already. he done yeah. like a couple of things. Mm -hmm. like that. That's good. Look at my earring. Okay, so, I mean, uh, you started singing and all that so uh, are you performing on the stages and uh, on the um, um, concerts and uh, where do you like to perform on the parties um, on well, you weddings know, we've, we've just finished um, the Mela season mm -hmm. and that was phenomenal like we performed most cities London Mela mm -hmm. Leicester Mela was so good brilliant mm -hmm. like oh um, you went to Leicester yeah okay. I performed everywhere Manchester Leicester mm -hmm. Birmingham Blackburn Nottingham mm -hmm. Glasgow up and down the country I've even gone abroad you know so on stage you love to dance and all that yeah you your know, songs yeah I like, to enjoy. Kind of, I like to pull off a good showcase it's good to kind of um, go on stage and make it your own. You know, I don't. I don't really like going on stage and being like scared. I want to. No, no. Feel like you I'm should. Show, of course. You know, you should enjoy yourself. You know, any show we are doing on stage or radio or television, whatever. If you are enjoying, it means people are enjoying there. Yeah, if you are exactly. not enjoying yourself, it means people are getting bored. Nah, exactly. say, My God. You know. So, what's the response you get from audience when you're on stage? Um, brilliant. You know, I think the most. Like the toughest, most toughest performance on stage is performing to a crowd that doesn't know you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I went to Canada. Okay. I did a, a Canada tour with Jaggedy. Mm -hmm. We went from city to city, and the thing is, like, us going to Canada was um, a new thing because you know I think they knew Jaggy. Okay. But with me, I'm a new artist coming through, and it was amazing to get to go and see so many people who who kind of just heard your track mm -hmm. and are going mad. Mm -hmm. For me, that's a result. All right, you know, and that that tells me. So that could I'm you understand Jaggi. what Jaggi was singing, Punjabi? Oh God, Jaggi, <laughs> still don't understand. But his dance moves say it all. So on stage, and dance crazy, will tell what he's crazy saying. performer. So you did together on stage. Yeah, we performed. I together. bet that must be really fantastic. Yeah. It was the first time me and Jaggi went on tour together, and it was fun. So where you have been, Canada, America? I've been to Canada. I've been to New York. I've mm -hmm. been to. Uh, Whereas in Malaysia, I've mm. been to, you know, every, I, can't, I lose count, man. Mm. So many places I've performed. Uh, India, 
You know, we have so traveled. Did you perform in India? Yeah, I performed oh, in India before. Where in New Delhi? Yeah, oh. I performed in New Delhi. You know, okay, so people weddings. loved it. Yeah, yeah, people pick up on it. You know. Oh, fantastic! I think I think if you got good music and mm. you know you're entertaining the crowd the right way, you know they'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, and especially when you uh, your costume and everything. Uh, what do you wear on stage? Just like this. Costume, uh, it's like make it sound like a Batman suit. But no, no, okay. It all depends on how Some I kind funny of. Yeah, no, it all depends on how I feel like. Um, yeah, and what sort of function is like? Well, in in India. No, no, wherever you perform. Oh yeah, if if obviously my style, like I I I, I like to kind of wear what I what I wear mm -hmm. in most places that I go because it's my style. But sometimes. You know, if it's a smart event, you might want to, I might want to just kind of put on a shirt mm -hmm. and, you know, just change up so the style. So in summer you know. t-shirts and all that. Precisely. And yeah, it all depends on how. Have of. you made your t-shirts on your name or something like um, that? Like I, you know what, I used trying. to do that. <laughs> I used to put my name on everything. On everything? Yeah, when I was young, like, but then I slowly thought, I'm not going to do that no more. <laughs> People know so my that name. was new craze when you started yeah, singing. Yeah, it's so funny. Like some people come up to me and go, "Mumsy," and I'm like, "Oh, you oh, want yeah. to tell people you are them?" Well, Mumsy. yeah. Obviously, when people don't know you, yeah, you know, you promote your name so they remember you. But now, you know, Mumsy, yeah. uh, like in Punjabi, we can say Mummy G. Mummy G. <laughs> And that's Mumsy. I've had that one. <laughs> it sounds like Mummy G. It is Mumsy, isn't it, really? Mumsy. Like Who gave you this name, Mumsy? Is it Mum or it Dad? No, it comes from my real name. Like, my real name is Mummet. Mummet? Yeah. Okay. And so, so it's a Mumsy. short from... Mumsy, yeah. So oh, that's Add good. a bit of zing on it. Okay. You know what I mean? So so no, I, w I won't say you Mummy G. No. Nah. You know, that's for mother. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> ओके दोस्तों यह साढ़े मम्मी जी नाल असि गलबात कर रहे हैं छोटी जी ब्रेक वाल चाहवागे ब्रेक तो बाद फिर थोड़ा स्वागत करेंगे स्टे ट्यून वी विल बी बैक सो सरताज स्वीट सेंटर प्योर वेजिटेरियन फूड स्वीट्स सेवरीज करीज एंड स्नैक्स Open seven days a week, Sardar Sweet Center. We cater for all your special occasions, weddings, parties, in fact anything. It's Sardar Sweet Center, 69 Narborough Road, Leicester. Call Leicester, 233-3350 or 255-6807, Sardar 